without 15. Um, I think our guys played great. I thought we pitched great after the first couple of batters uh, throughout everybody that competed. Um, we just couldn't have it bats. And when it really got tight, you know, we chased out of the zone a little bit. But that's good stuff. That's, that's elite, special, you know, maybe the first pitch. Pitcher taken in the entire Major League draft coming up. Remind me, 15 strikeout performances reminds me some of the, maybe a little Tanner Burns, maybe a little more uh, Casey Myers type stuff. And, you know, he didn't just do it with the fastball like we uh, really prepared for and expected. But we had time to adjust because he had done it part of the game. The slider and the changeups probably to McMurray, uh, to Foster were in play. And he went to, to more of that as he got in a role, especially starting the second time through the lineup. But I absolutely tipped my hat. We played great defense. Again, the pitching was was intact here. The last SEC game we had here, I think, was a two to one win versus Mississippi State. There were some reminders of that. And we're just waiting to try to put, you know, a few at bats together and and had a tough time doing that because of the, the skill that was on the mound with schemes. And then, you know, seven in the third inning, so we didn't have a lot of game left to play with to try to get back in it. And, uh, um, you know, I think Murray got a leadoff hit there in the ninth, and uh, they brought in Hurd, and he had his stuff set pretty good, too, and was able to, to finish us off without us being able to pass it down and build anything there there in the ninth. Pleased to see Al Sillip and then Bauman and um, Isbell and then Murphy then finish it out. Just, just your pitching overall look like some guys have stepped up from the previous half. Yeah, we'll see what we do tomorrow, but it just seemed like, uh, you know, Chase got us two times through the lineup, and then we just, you know, Cruz and White having such big years, special players, special batters, and we just at least, you know, can they face a new guy each time they come up after they saw Austin twice. And that was kind of the simplest, simple plan there. And, you know, I guess uh, Bauman came in and faced those guys and did a competitive job, Isabel as well. Really, when you are competitive against a couple guys like that, you want you, you want to get it, and you want to make it happen. But um, you know, those two guys did a nice job, and I I thought for it's only one inning, but I'm, I'm seeing the growth with Murphy a little bit. There's a little shorter stride; he's on top of the ball. Had a slider set, more swing and miss than we've seen him, and, and really just attacking the strike zone. So <clears throat> super excited about Murphy and. Um, he, he, he kept us right there instead of them running away and creating more offense late like they do so often. He was able to put up another zero and at least, you know, give us that last at bat in the bottom of the ninth, still still three to nothing. Chase had a career high in, in innings pitched. Just, you know, I know you talked a little bit about the, the change in the slider grip, but just what would you, you kind of see working for him? Like the slide, that's the second outing in a row the slider play. He mm -hmm. grabbed him strikes behind in the count. Um, he got some swing and miss. It was pretty good. I guess Morgan hit a home run there with the fastball the second time through. But once the slider got introduced and got set in the ball game, I thought it helped the fastball create some more survivability even with the fastball once the, the slider was introduced. I think he hit the first batter, and then he wouldn't close on the next offering. And then, you know, you know, you know he got one right down Broadway. It seemed like to get the game underway. But once the slider got introduced, it was good. It played well again, and I think it helped the fastball once it got introduced into the ballgame.